The tougher than a tornado 2012 sweepstakes Husky is stretching its legs. Now front and center at the AOPA 10 at Sun and Fun. But on the journey here, this dog did some running. After a wait for the weather to clear from home base in Frederick, Maryland, AOPA President Craig Fuller and his personal Husky joined AOPA pilot senior editor Dave Hirschman in the sweepstakes Husky for a journey to Sun and Fun. A fuel stop in Danville, Virginia put the team in good position to make it all the way to Beaufort, South Carolina for the first night. At the so-called Beaufort Frogmore International Airport Thursday morning, the team ran into local flight instructor Drew Anderson. He loves teaching students over the beautiful salt marshes of coastal Carolina. Couldn't pick a better place to flight instruct. We have beautiful weather. Um, there's tons of uh, water and uh, it's just a beautiful place to fly. All that marsh means a lot of bugs. Craig shared some lemon pledge with Dave to help cut down on the splats. From there, it was down the coast and then inland for a jump over to Cross City, Florida. The FBO was offering a 25 cent a gallon sun and fun fuel discount. With the Huskies full, the team headed down the coast to Cedar Key. As the sun set, they circled the area, taking in beautiful sights. You leave your worries behind when you come to a place like this. AOPA member Scott Coyle and his wife Deborah were out bicycling the town when the Huskies came in. They were excited to see the sweepstakes plane in Cedar Key. It's one of their favorite places to visit. The adventure of coming to isolated locations like this and you know visiting the local townspeople, uh, friendly places that a lot of folks don't drive to. I mean, quite frankly, to get here by road is uh, many, many miles of nothingness. Cedar Key is so friendly, in fact, that as the planes were coming in, a voice came across the radio, seeing if anyone needed a ride. Meet Judy Basin, the unofficial airport shuttle. I got my regulars, then I know their voice when I hear them on the radio. Might not remember their name, but I know their voices. Got some great people that come in, actually. Judy took the team all over town and showed the lay of the I land, a unique welcome in a unique coastal key. Huskies are pack animals, and the next morning, Recreational Aviation Foundation Director Tim Clifford flew in for breakfast in his Husky. You don't have to twist his arm to get him to fly into Cedar Key, though. The waters around Cedar Key are those waters you see in the calendars where it looks like the sailboat is floating on air. The three Huskies headed out over the water and down the coast. Tim broke off to head home and get ready for sun and fun, but Craig and Dave went on to Venice for fuel and then Naples for the night. Saturday morning, the sun was again on the left as the pair headed over the Everglades and down the Florida Keys. Next stop, the Conch Republic, wheels down in Key West. It made for a great way to wind down the journey before heading up the Keys and going VFR direct over the Everglades and up to Sun and Fun, where we hope to see you. At Sun and Fun, Paul Harrop, AOPA Live.